Oh, there's the hole. <laughs> Get in your hole. All right, go ahead and start it. All right, starting. Event is starting. He was born in the 80s. Somewhere, somewhere in Jordan. Jordan. Now he lives in, in Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. But we have no specific location. Cassum. 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 This is my show. I've got to tweet it. I forgot to tweet it. Uh, okay, hey, welcome to episode 20, 23. 23. Michael Jordan. Office show. I can't wait to explain why we're in the office years from now. Yeah. It's all because of Jim Carrey. What? This is you all can't, because of Jim. You can't say that. They haven't made an announcement. Jim Carrey, what he's doing <laughs> in his life right now is causing us to be here. This is all Jim's fault. Okay, hold on. Sh- show is live. Okay, show is live. I should have put an exclamation point in it. All right, hey, welcome to the show. For um, reasons not related to what Peter just said, or maybe we're doing a show in the office this week because we have no money. Um, and we, we blew all our money on the, uh, the, inve- the hunt for my children, which you guys will see when? Next week. Next week. When do you want to go get your kids? I think maybe the investigation kicks off next week. You're feeling it? Yeah. I'm pretty surprised that you've known that they're in El Segundo and you're kind of just taking your time. El Segundo's not, there's a lot of spots to it. There's, I'm, I'm, yeah. I, have, I have people uh, kind of combing the streets, if you will, sure. and, and looking for any hot tips. Um, so you guys will, will understand kind of what's happening with that. Maybe next week when we decide to go find out what's happening. Um, I got an ad read before we bring out our guest. And our guest is a good one. And he's in the he's in the corner right there. Hopefully we don't yeah. see his body. Okay. Don't don't come out yet. It's not time for you. You'll know when it's time. Okay. There'll be a feeling that you know that this is the moment and then you'll come out. Oh, special shout out to Halo Top Ice Cream, by the way. They saw last week's episode and they're sending us free ice cream. Tight. I don't know why it's a secret, but it is. <laughs> This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or an online store, make your next move with Squarespace. And I'm not reading this, by the way. You can create a beautiful website or online store with one of their award-winning templates. This summer, they've launched 16 award-winning templates to make, a cre- to make creating a powerful online identity even easier. Each template is a starting point for a wide range of projects, whether you're pursuing your side hustle or promoting your main gig. Oh, I don't know what that is, but it feels good. Sorry. Maybe you want to promote your dog walking business or show off some cool art that you've been making. You can create a beautiful website with Squarespace's all-in-one platform. There's nothing to install, patch, or upgrade, ever. They make it easy as possible for you. And if you're having any problems ever at any time of day, Squarespace provides award-winning 24-7 customer support. It's also simple to set up or transfer your domain on Squarespace. You can now transfer your third-party domains to Squarespace. Instead of working with multiple vendors to maintain your online presence, you're now able to manage all your domain and billing settings with Squarespace and take advantage of our easy-to-use DNS interface. It's never been easier to sell products or services online. Squarespace allows you to manage your products, orders, and inventory easily. It's so useful for all kinds of people and businesses who are ready to take their next move, who are ready to make their next move. Musicians, designers, restaurants, retailers. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and go to squarespace.com slash casmg to get 10% off your first purchase. Squarespace.com slash casmg, get 10% off your first purchase. Or just use offer code casmg. Again, that's squarespace.com slash casmg or use code casmg. All right, Woo! enough. Woo! Gee, you're so good. It. You're so Woo! good for I did it for us. Yeah, he doesn't like doing that. I don't, but it's fine because Squarespace is, is great. is a great is a great company with great benefits to, to, for great customers. Mm-hmm. Let's bring out our guest, Woo! ladies and gentlemen. This week's guest, if you uh, remember um, YouTube from uh, from when I started, and if you've watched movies such as Smiley, the thinning, the thinning. Smiley. Smiley. <laughs> and his upcoming movies such as The Thinning. The Thinning. And 
There's a bunch more. And smile, Smiley ran it on iTunes. The thinning. The thinning. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Michael Gallagher! Yay! 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 Michael! Yes. These are my people. Come on people. in, buddy. Oh, awesome. Great to see you. Ooh, you always smell so good. It's true. I've never seen this man sweat. I've never. seen this man a lot in my life. Never once have I seen <laughs> I've one, never seen you not smile. Sweat. We call you the smiler. <laughs> Thank you. Did you know that? That's, I didn't know that. That's yeah. why I'm like the emoji in the emoji movie. Yeah, well, welcome. <laughs> um, I'm sorry you had to come on the show when we all crammed into the room. Yeah, like the shittiest form of the show. <laughs> this is the worst form, but we reserve it for our most our closest friends. Thank you. In the most intimate of settings. It's an honor to sit at your control station. What you can't see is that Chasm has cameras everywhere. True. Eyes I got eyes all over this property, and if you're if you think you can come in and infiltrate, I'm not I'm not baiting people to come attack you. <laughs> he dares you. Do that. He I dares you to come and infiltrate. No, please please do and not. He will get you, and you will be in a prison. You don't need to prove it. You could probably infiltrate. All right, it wouldn't be that hard to infiltrate. So don't no, no. need to prove that. <laughs> don't try it. Um, hey, welcome. Thank you. And uh, I was gonna say the last time I saw you was in the second to last Transformers movie. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's my one joke. Trans- <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's because it's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> and um, if you don't know, Michael's a filmmaker, but not just a filmmaker, because anyone can be, because I meet a lot of kids that say they're filmmakers, but he's actually a filmmaker who is working and, is, and, is, <laughs> <laughs> and he makes films. I've made Sem- some long ones. Semi-steady employment. Semi-steady. <laughs> but also much younger than you would expect. Yes. Yeah. I'm in my my late twenties. <laughs> no. Uh, no, no, no. You were like 21 two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we met, I think I was like 19. You were 19. Yeah. First day I met you in Venice, you were wearing a shark shirt. Yep. And that became <laughs> that became a whole nothing. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I just no, felt good. Absolutely nothing. It didn't turn into anything. <laughs> It just became a shirt. No shark shorts. Yes. Well, at any given time, I only own four shirts and two pairs of some kind of fittable pants. I think back then we didn't have a lot of clothes. No. You know, and we were definitely we had a, sh- a short rotation of wardrobe, and we would okay, we would see the shark shirt once, twice a week. Three times, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it would get washed. That's yeah. The thing. That was the nice thing about it. Okay, let's this is like riveting. Let's so. do let's do an actual interview because you don't have news. No. What do you mean? We, remember when John forgot remember, to talk about the hurricane? Yeah, what yeah. about Harvey? We, yeah, I asked him if he had news. He's like, no. But I can come up with something. Let's put the pressure on him. I don't, I don't him. feel qualified to talk about Harvey. What do you fair, mean? Because I know just as much as you do. That's the thing. How do you know how much I know, though? The, 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 like, you probably know more because I, I've been I know playing more, Rocket League. Like, I know more uh, YouTube clips. Like, I could t- talk about different... Like, I just showed... You showed me a very, very crazy Like, this YouTube CNN clip. reporter was trying to interview this uh, black woman that just got saved. Why'd you whisper black? <laughs> <laughs> it's, okay it's okay to say. It's okay to say. Yeah, you can say it. Yeah. But anyways, she, she was uh, interviewing her, and she was getting all pissed off because, uh, you know, she was just, you know... Got saved from this really traumatic event. She had no food, no water. Mm-hmm. And like the CNN reporter was like, oh, how do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? And she's like, how the fuck do you think mm-hmm. I feel? You know? Mm-hmm. Oh. And so. Uh, she wasn't in a good mood. She, she called out the reporter in a, in a great way because the reporter was just trying to get like a video of her breaking down. Yeah, of course. To, yeah. Tears. On the show. If it bleeds, it bleeds, right? <laughs> <laughs> if it what? If it bleeds, it bleeds. That's a news term? Yeah. Where'd you learn that? Newsroom. Newsroom. Jeff Daniels. <laughs> Jesus, if it bleeds, it leads. Is that why your news is always ter- like very down, bummer? No, the reason why the news is like that because that's it happens. But your news. Well, I don't like to talk about po- like uh, really popular uh, news items <laughs> because I've just. Feel so- <laughs> yeah, I like to hear more on the alt circuit. Yeah, the yeah. Alt, circuit. alt news. Just oh, things wow. that people don't because In- they've already heard it. Like, what are news. they gonna? What am I gonna tell them that they already don't? Well, what's going on a prison planet then? Look, I'm backing up because I'm trying to become. Well, there's that trying Arpaio, to get into the, the whole, you know, Sheriff Arpaio getting pardoned, right, with the prisons. Is that how you say his name? Arpaio. Oh. Yeah, I think so. Okay. But uh, you you know why that's a controversy, right? Well, because, because he's a racist. Not only that, he like you know he bragged about it, right? He bragged about people dying in his prisons, like 
he, like, uh, because they, they had, they li- if you go to their website right now, they have a little drop down when you click prisons, the different types of prisons they have. One of them is Tent City, and they still have it on their website. You click Tent City, and it shows a giant wide shot of a literally tents, and all these prisoners are living outdoors, uh, no walls, no nothing, exposed to the sun. Yeah, I'm sorry, if, I'm if messing around with my hat. Ca- uh, catching up, our current <laughs> president of the United States is a little bitch. Oh, come on. Uh, if you're just catching up. We're not trying to get If you're just up. joining us, we uh, currently are dealing with a president who's a little bitch. What's the chat going to say about that? I'm asking him for like any cool alt hipster news for John that he should know about. Alt hipster news? Yeah, is what they're calling it. It's what Jack Robinson called it. But basically, the only thing I got was uh, 090 Karma says, the Minister of Environment in Belgium says... The only use of trees are to be cut. And I wow. think that's a loose translation. But wow. uh, I don't know. I, think I don't know about that. World leaders being a little... Uh, I mean, as a child of a product of Fern Gully, one and two, I think there was a third. I, I disagree. Mm. Yeah. And I feel like trees are there to filter out our poison that we... We breathe yeah. out poison as human beings. Yep. True. This is CO2. all true. CO2. Mm-hmm. And, and the uh, the trees turn into oxygen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the trees turn into Should oxygen. Should I be writing this down? Is this going to be on the test? <coughs> you got any more bummer, bummers? Um, how dare you Trump on Trump action. Stand and spin. Castle, let me rank your outfit on the zero to ten. No, we're not ranking outfit scale. today. It's an office day. I've just got shorties on. I have shorties and a, and a sh- Volcom shirt on. No, they're not a sponsor. You pull it off. Though. Right now, the lower the lower quadrant of this show is doing very cool things. Right now, it's a very cool view. Just like right. Is it there. because my crotch? Yeah, is crotch right there. The crotch. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not about to bulge out online. What are you working on? How's your crotch, Michael? How's your crotch? It's, it's yeah. It's feeling. It's firm. Good. It's good. good. Okay, you just wrapped a movie. I did. Yes. We and did. that movie is called Funny Story. That's the that's one. I was, that's the one. <laughs> You kept what? saying the thinning. <laughs> you, there's so many. Well, I didn't want to so see it. Me, earlier you were like, don't talk about it. So I didn't, know what to, I didn't want to talk about it. Uh, I told him, John was trying to do the interview in my kitchen, and I said, save it for the show. I just haven't seen Michael in a long time, so I was just trying just to catch it up. Like old pals. Your filmography, Smiley, Horror. 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 Uh, the th- Internet Famous. Internet Famous! Yeah. That was great. That was great. That was great. That was great. I, I really like this. Show. Starring That's Wendy Wendy McCollum, Steve Wendy Green, Steve. Amanda, oh, Cerny. Amanda Cerny, Amanda yeah. Cerny, Richard Ryan, Richard oh, oh, Richard, Richard Ryan. Ryan, Shane Dawson, Shane yeah. Dawson, Paul Michael Higgins, John Michael Higgins, John Michael Higgins. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, Adam Bush, Missy Pyle. Oh, know, the, Missy Pyle. Yes. She's Adam Bush, and Missy, 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 Missy Pyle sounds like a, two porn actors. No, that's Adam what, Bush and Missy Pyle are going to be in it <laughs> yeah. as usual. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Missing Fireman Five. Yeah. Missing Fireman Five. I think There's they four. Do that. Oh, oh, dang. And okay, so Internet Famous, The Thinning. The thinning. Which was you and Steve Green, you wrote? Yeah, all, all these are all Seth you and Smiley, Steve Green. Steve Green and I. Compilations. Are, yes, we went in a cave and we wrote all these. Is The Thinning out already? The Thinning is out and it's on YouTube. Red. Oh. It's a very, fa- it's a very oh. fancy YouTube. How's YouTube Red uh, doing? I think it's uh, it's surviving. Because I every time they uh, YouTube goes, would you like to try YouTube Red for an ad free experience? Like, if there was a fuck no button, I would hit would fuck no. It. But yeah. it doesn't it doesn't mean the content on there isn't great. I just I just don't I don't want like YouTube trying to get money from me That's because fair. they used to give me money. Yeah, and it feels unfair now. Now they're trying they to take it back. back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, you know, YouTube Red is, is cool because the way I have it, but I don't have it just to keep watching the thing because I'm kind of done with that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, once you watch your own movie. You don't watch your own movie once a day or a week? Yeah, yeah interweekly. Mm. But uh, what I like it for is you can listen to music or podcasts or whatever, like any YouTube video would and your phone is off. That's so that's the get. That's, that's that's pretty dope. But that bugs me because that should have been a f- native feature, yeah. and they're turning it on for a little scratch. Yeah, mm-hmm. enough, dude. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You ever you're listening to a podcast? I was I tried to listen to the Stevie Weeby show, mm. and I had it, and I was trying to drive, and I and I clicked off, like the close button. I don't know what that button's called on the side of your iPhone, and it goes black. The lock button. The lock button. Thank you. <laughs> and then the podcast stops, and I get upset. Yep. And then I open it back up, and then there's here's YouTube with a hey, you want you want this to work right? Give us some money. And I was against it. That's good. Yeah. Well, you need to save. 
I'm not trying to bait you into saying anything negative about YouTube Red <laughs> because I know for you it's been working out. So, but, but the movie's also available on like iTunes, oh, Amazon, iTunes, Amazon, all of the other. I just paid twenty dollars for Wonder Woman. Oh, with all the features. All this the is what I do want to ask you about. Yes, please. Did you see it? I saw it in a movie theater. Yeah. Okay, great. I saw it here last night. Ah. Uh, did you? Did you Women's March. Extremely empowering. Between like from you know. Milana Vaintrop to James Cameron, like, where do you fall on the, like, I loved it. it you know, women should not be... Michael, this is my question. Levels. This is my question for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where Where yeah. is Milana Vaintrop ranking? There, there was a video of her crying at, like, a YouTube screening. I being like, this is an amazing movie. Like, oh, so I oh. put her at, like, okay. that's the most you could like the movie. And James oh, Cameron was crying because he, he hates it. women so much? Well, no, he doesn't hate women. He just thinks that they need to be, like, in trouble they, or distressed or not look attractive. To you know, oh, to yeah. be to be you know a feminist sort of ideal. He's saying that it's like a misogynist character right. that Wonder Woman has like been sexified over the years. Sure. So you can't mm-hmm. possibly make her an icon because it's like wrong. They yeah. did a good job at it though. That was great. Yeah. I, I thought, thought it was really, rough. I thought he it was, wants more a little rough. Yeah. Rough, you know, a little rough looking. Yeah. But yeah, also, also he doesn't like the glam. He doesn't like yeah. a glam female icon, and people are slamming him for it, which I which I get. Interesting. Females don't need to have manly traits to be strong. Okay, guys, <laughs> and that's Omar's two cents. Also, <laughs> that's my brother. Uh, the N- that's my brother. Right the away. NZ Jester has a question for Michael. Whoa! Uh, a live chat question. Live Whoa. chat. Live this is a real from, show. Live from the chat. Uh, Let's hear it. Whatever happened, uh, totally sketch. We love the channel. Uh, any uh, any plans for an upload anytime soon? I consider your films to be in evolution it, of they totally are. sketch. Thank you, Cass. People miss. It's a lot of old school. You know, totally brilliant. sketch guys. It's not the same because it's a bigger, better version where you you take your friends and you make just a longer version of content that you want to make yeah and someone else pays for it usually but this time somebody else pays for it yes which is nice uh fun fact michael gallagher edited the first ever going deep yeah i shot, was that I shot you? it that was no, you i shot it you I edited was, i worked with him yeah i directed or he shot it i think and i directed it yeah. you directed it but well, with you of course I mean. cherry ferretti mm-hmm. we made her you edited it or he edited it i always thought you edited it you know, I think I was super. I was directing, so you know, you have your hand in a lot of pies. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, um, we asked her to do things for thumbnails. Is all I remember. <laughs> You're like, you know, we need a we need a thumbnail. That was like the big old G YouTube yeah. thing. Like, <laughs> how Wait, we... I'm gonna have some foresight here. <laughs> Playing Let's the think game. About the thumbnail. All right. <laughs> Playing the game. Yeah. Getting those views. Yeah. You sometimes work thumbnail back. You come up with a. Oh, when that video sketch. hit the front page. I got the thumbnail yeah. first. Yeah. Now we gotta write the script. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it it really had a lot to do with the fact that when it hit the front page of YouTube's viewed list, it was like everyone was like, "Whoa, is that a blowjob video on the front page? I've got to click this." Yeah, and that's where a lot of those clips came from. Well, the art form changed then. But then I, you know, then I was like, "I'm not playing this game. I'm not playing this game." So I went, I went away. back you to the away. standard <laughs> interview. Standard there interview. There was a mountain of money coming out of the like Jerry Seinfeld was like, no deal. I'm yeah. not a fucking sellout. So a the true mountain artist. money was... No, I got the mountain. I got the mountain of money. That girl trying to hug him who sang Timber? Kesha? Yeah, yeah I think so. And Jerry Seinfeld said no hug? Yeah, basically. <laughs> basically. Except a- after like three or four. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we, it was a brilliant show ahead of its time. In a way, no. very similar to Between Two Ferns, <laughs> but, <laughs> but with adult film stars. It was, it was I like to say it was like in, inside the actor's studio. Yes, that, it was very classy. Mm, yeah. That was the, that was, we originally had the 10 questions from inside yeah, the actor's yeah, studio. Yeah. And you made them read scenes from. <laughs> yeah. yeah, tried to get them to read. Yeah. <laughs> this sounds great, Cassie, you should do some more of these. Let's talk about more of my videos. <laughs> Let's bring back the formats. Remember, um, uh, <laughs> this has been an awkward moment with Gas and G. Oh. <laughs> awkward moment. <laughs> I'm gonna need. I'm gonna just need you to stop. <laughs> need you to stop and realize that. I, I don't want you. You don't want to go. I don't ahead. want to talk Okay, we didn't have a pre interview, so I didn't know what was all No, about. it's all fresh. This is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. So, Michael, what was it like working with one of the most, the biggest up and coming actors of our time right now? 
and you're referring to Logan Paul. Logan Paul, yes. <laughs> where'd you do where'd you do Logan Paul? He's uh-huh. in the thinning. He is the co lead of the thinning. Would you can say, you give us a synopsis of what the thinning is, just so people that yeah. that don't have YouTube read? Yes, well it's a teen dystopian thriller, like a YA story that's not based off a book series that okay. we just invented. Okay. Where in the near future Film two book possibly? Maybe it turns uh, into a maybe we do the reverse. Mm-hmm. That'll do work. Um, <laughs> and then a haiku at the end, just make it a haiku. <laughs> exactly, I'll just keep going. Uh, but the the whole thing of the thinning is that in the near future, there's overpopulation and resource depletion. And so the mm. UN creates this like mandatory law for every country that they have to eliminate a certain amount of their population annually. And so in America, they have a test, a standardized test called the thinning that every student must take each year. And the lowest scoring students are executed. Ooh. Ooh, now that's an idea. That's a law I would like. Because be what year else. did this take place? I think we got rid of the year because we, you know, mm-hmm. our budget was sort of in a zone of like, well, if we say it's too far in the future, but they're driving Camrys, oh, yeah. Yeah. it's not going <laughs> to <laughs> yeah. make sense. So it's sort of a vague, you know, parallel yeah. universe to now. Like there's a lot of similarities to our world. And so Logan Paul stars in it? He, he plays Blake Redding, who's the son of the governor who's running for president. He's running on this like pro-thinning platform. Okay. What was it like being in the room when, when he was... <laughs> what was it like in the room? Well, you know, it, magical. I'm gonna, I'll get really real about Logan. He uh, originally, like when we were trying to cast it, we were trying to figure out who could play this guy. And we, we wrote this like handsome, blonde haired, blue eyed, like muscular, like dude who is kind of like a Hemsworth. You know, there was like a Hemsworthian type. And there's not a there's not a Hemsworth brother that's down the line. We're out of Hemsworth. No. Like out. We're out. We're out of them. Fuck. Yeah. Like out of the parents gotta keep fucking or something. <laughs> <laughs> but so we had to find someone and he was originally pitched and he, at that point he was just doing like Vine. It was like height of Vine. He okay. was doing the splits. So I really just knew him from doing the splits. And from that... Was he on Disney also as well? Not at that point. No, because his younger brother, Jake, is the Disney... Oh, I thought they were... I thought both the these guys... Same one. Yeah. No, there's two. There's, there's two. two of these guys. Did you know that? Every day, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> which one's a, every are day? Are you not a Maverick? Are you in the low <laughs> gang or are you a Jake Pauler? Okay, which one's the one that's been causing all the ruckus? That's Jake Paul. Okay. That's, that's it not, sucks, not the one that It I sucks that Logan has a younger brother who makes him seem like not the obnoxious one. <laughs> Which well, is insane. Well, no, to be fair, because like originally when we were casting, what I was saying is that I didn't, I wasn't on board with him. I was like, I don't even know if he should come in an audition because, it, you know, it seemed like he wasn't going to be right. Just, just from, do too many splits. Just from, yeah, just movie. from all the things I knew him from because it was so f- like goofy, funny, like broad, big, vine, you know. It was very different than this character who's really, you know, it's, just, it's like kind of a drama. <laughs> and so we're like, I don't know if I want to cast this guy in a drama. But he came in, you know, we decided to have him come in an audition, and he, it was like the day after the 4th of July when everyone's hungover, everyone's mm-hmm. been fucked up, mm-hmm. and he came in at like 9 a.m., off book, killed it, read with Jana, mm. who is an actress, and she You're felt wh- it. What? Yeah. My fiance. Fiance! Hey! Congratulations. Hey. I'm a adult. Where's the ring? That's uh, on her. Or is that only on <laughs> girls? <laughs> only girls get uh, engagement yeah, rings? Yeah, yeah. It'd, it'd be weird if I had one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a big old flashy diamond. Well, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's diamonds. 2017. Diamonds are the coolest rocks. Yeah, there's like a lot of blood on them. And, uh, you know, so he was professional. <laughs> he was very professional. No, he came in and everyone in the room were, you know, we're all critical going in. Like he did not have an <laughs> yeah. easy, he did not have an easy room. And he nailed, it was like in the room we were like, He's the guy. We didn't tell him that. Wow. So he was the guy. Wow. Now is he like your Johnny Depp to your Tim Burton? Oh, he's more my Robert De Niro, I think. Wow. Uh, so you're so Scorsese. Scorsese. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No. Ben Stiller. <laughs> he's the meet yeah. the parents. He's my Owen Wilson, my Ben Stiller. Or some <laughs> shit. No, no. He he's actually great, and he, to what I would equate him to for anyone who doesn't really know Logan, I just seen little clips or something. He's like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Okay. He is. All energy, all yeah. commitment, yeah. He, whatever he's doing, nice. he's going to put it all in. Very nice, loves his fans, has a work ethic like nobody's business. Okay. And he's he's in it to win it. He's going to succeed at whatever he does. So I'm, I'm all I'm on team low gang for sure. But his he's, brother's crazy. Well, I've only had brief interactions with his brother. But what I will say is he's just super young. And he's like very famous. But he's, when you're super young, very famous, and all, there's all this attention on you with money and success, mm. it's, uh, you know... It's like yeah, there's a Miley Cyrus effect to it. There's like a weird cyclone where you don't know what's right and what's wrong. And you kind of need to go away. It takes whatever's crazy is in you and, and just 
amplifies it, I think. Yeah. Whenever you have, you get fame and a little money, but you're still like, you barely got pubes, you know? It's weird. Yeah, pubes? Yeah, pubes are weird. Yeah, I, tell me about it. No, he, uh, Jake is, uh, I mean, right now he's just been, I don't know if you follow anything he does, but he, um, he made videos and vines and things that he's going to Houston. That he, yes. He's in Houston helping with the disaster right now. Yeah, because it's a great way to rehabilitate your image. Well, he saw a kid wearing, in like a news photo, one of his shirts, mm. and he, that's when he knew he had to do something, because his fans were getting in and trouble. And he's there for his fans. And he's there for his fans. So he's literally in Houston saving his fan. I think, I don't know if it's just yeah. only his fans. Yeah. <laughs> it's everyone, but he's out, like, he's doing something. If I saw somebody wearing a Casim T, yeah. you know, and that was, like, they were drowning, I would something. be like, get above water so I could screen cap this and tweet it, you know? Like, yeah, you can't quite tell. The branding is submerged. I wouldn't even think about to go there. <laughs> You'd send a drone out. <laughs> get above water. <laughs> you see the shirt. Stick your chest out. I need to grab this. Jeez. All right. Well, yeah, he is. He has to have. That's, that's nice of him to go. I think so. But, uh, but it's also like, a, but it's like Joel Osteen. Yeah. Is that how you say his name? Osteen. 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 My mom is a huge fan. Every year I buy her a Joel Osteen Your book. mom? Yeah. No, she's so lovely. Why? You know, when you hit a certain age, I think it's just like... You, Tony, need, you, you get need Tony God. Robbins. You need God, I okay. think. And All you right. need God through someone who sounds like they know what they're talking about. Yeah. And yeah. he sounds like he knows what he's talking about so much that he's a bajillionaire. He looks like... He looks like a guy in a gum commercial where he just get hit with like a ice blast of like peppermint and his face is and his teeth. Yeah. Like a five gum guy. Yeah. yeah. Just laying in the ball. You know those ones where the guys would blow smoke because it was so cold? Like blow frigid yeah, like a cold, peppermint? Yeah, like a cold gum. Yeah, like he, look, winter. he looks like a cold gum guy. <laughs> like a chili fresh flavor. Arctic Blast. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Arctic Mint Spiroblast. Mountain Swisher Froze Zone. Yeah. Uh, I hope he watches this clip. Like, this clip is taken and, like, you know, upvoted somewhere. And then he, like, some reason, see, he just has, like, a Google alert of his name. Yeah. And he comes up and he watches it and he gets a little sad. Yeah, and then he, gets he goes, a little sad yeah. that we're equating him to a gun. Well, I, you know, I, what did, did you, have you had a chance to talk about your mom was a fan of Joel Olstein? Olstein. Yeah. Ol? Olstein. No, is there's there no an L? L? There's no L. You're putting Olstein. an L in there. Wait, is it a is Korean one? thing? No, Joel, Joel Osteen. Oh yeah, Joel Osteen. Joe Olsteen. <laughs> Joel Osteen. Didn't he start letting people in though? He let people in. Yeah, yeah, yeah like after he got minutes. harassed about it. Yeah. Wasn't it just like and it, like he wasn't quick enough, but he definitely still opened his doors and then everybody... It was a, it's a hell of a church. It's Isn't a mega it church. Old, right? uh, it's the it's old stadium. stadium that the Houston Rockets used to play. Yeah. He converted the stadium? it into a church. Yeah, it That's was the old basketball stadium. Wow. Yeah. It's like 16,000. That's now a church? Yeah. And, he, and, he, and I read he has like a, an, a $10 million house that the church paid for yeah. that he gets to live yeah. in, in yeah. a state, a private estate. In Texas, I think $10 million goes a long way. He's a prosperity pastor, right? He's just about prosperity. If he's doing well, you are doing well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yep. My oh. mom has a couple of his books, too. See? He's got the mom seat. Your mom? Your mom? <laughs> Not our mom. That's for sure. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, so when does the movie come out? Uh, the new one? Yeah. Funny story? Funny story. Uh, that, we're... It, what were we... We were talking about we're The talking Thinning. About the Thinning. The and Thinning and then you, Jake yeah, Paul. That out that's out October. now yeah. on iTunes. All the things. Um, uh, the, the Funny Story comes out October. No, no, no. Funny story is a movie that we just independently made. Like I financed it. Like we just went and did it because it was it was one of those things where it's different than all of the other types of projects I've been doing. Why? How? Show. Why is it different? Well, it's a dramedy. It's like a and it's not for uh, youth. The youth. It's oh, like okay. for grown ups. Oh, okay, okay. So okay, far, okay. They, like no one's let me make a movie for grown ups. So, so this is I your. I had to go do this. Yeah. To prove something. Is That's Jacob Wysocki cool. in this one? Jacob Wysocki is in this. Oh, one. I oh. love him. He's Fantastic actor. He's such a great hey, actor. Dude. Fantastic. Guys. Yeah, um, yeah, no, he's really good, and he he's in the movie. Who else is in it? Uh, it's got Emily Bett Ricards, who's on the show Arrow. Uh, this guy Matt Glave, who's also in the Thinning. He was best known for the Wedding Singer. He played Glenn Gulia. Glenn Gulia, Julia Gulia's yeah. husband. Yes, yep. that Remember guy was. Very, that guy's great. He's great. Yes, and so it's like them, and then we have uh, oh, we got Pete Gardner from uh, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Mm -hmm. uh, Jana mm -hmm. Winters, my fiance. Yes, uh, and then uh, Reginald Val Johnson. Do you make her audition? No. <laughs> 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 uh, 
what? She's, Does that count as nepotism? Uh, no, it's like a, you know, it's some kind she's a, of... Luckily, she's a good actress, but come on. I, Make her audition, at it's least. It's an advantage. Make her sweat. <laughs> Make her sweat. Yeah. Yeah, well, no, this was actually a project that we wrote for her. It was, like, specific. Like, we wrote with her in mind. And sometimes we do that for certain scripts. So this was written for a few people, like, a few actors oh. in mind, like Matt Clave and um, Jana. So it's, you know, sometimes you like to do that. It's the first time I actually have done that, like, for a specific person. And it worked out really well. What's becoming easier as the more movies you make? And, like, what are... Like, is there a certain part of the movie making process that you like really don't look forward to? Is it like editing or is it, cause I think you're really great on set. You got a good energy. You're always smiling. You never get too stressed out. You probably, you might disagree, but like you've always got a smile on your face. You're not getting too like, you know, like John's the same way. We were shooting Joe, we did a 12 hour day the other day. And the worst John gets is just like quiet. He just gets a little quiet, but yeah. that's it. Uh, That's the San Diego chill, yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Yeah, <laughs> San Diagans? Yeah, we're San Diego. Yeah, so is, is there a part of the process that you don't like as much, or do you think that you're getting, that you, what have you learned? I'm getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, um, I really just hate the selling part. Like in the okay, but when you, good. Because each time you have to start anew, yeah. and you're like, Oh, can I have some fucking money? Yeah. <laughs> like, that sucks. Yeah. Like, it literally sucks. <laughs> but it's go, easier that you've had yeah. movies now in the can. You would think. Because your first one, you didn't. You were just like, yeah. I'll uh, give me something. But right. then now you're like, I've done this, this, and that. Yes. Well, I've definitely, like, found an, a niche in, like, working with, you know, young, like, influencer, social media yeah. ites, and kind of, like, doing a transition thing for them. And that's worked out really cool. Right, um, but, but the new movies not for those kids. Not for those. So kids. how'd you sell this movie? Uh, oh, you did. You didn't. paid for it. I, yeah, I wrote the check. So I was like, I'm just gonna do this because then, because I, I also didn't want anybody being like, well, we'll do it, but you got to change this, this. Are and we this, allowed to and... say how much? Are we allowed to say what the budget was? <laughs> it, you know, it's uh, it's low budget. Is it? I could. It's a uh, you know. One million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Is it above a million dollars? No, it's not above a million okay, all right. dollars. Okay, alright. Good. I was gonna, I was gonna get very jealous, no, very quick. No, I invest poorly. Uh, <laughs> how so? How, was it a nineteen-day shoot? It was fifteen-day shoot. Woo! Yeah, it was quick. Quick. Yes. So Six what's day weeks? Five day weeks? Five day weeks. Yes. Yeah. It was. It was fast. Two yeah. days off. Yeah. That seems like a. That seems like a dream gig. It was lovely. No, I, and it was something that we wrote, Steve Green and I wrote this a few years ago, and we've been trying to get it made, but everyone's like, well, can it be young, can they be kids, can they be, you know, yeah. you know, sexy kids? Can we put <laughs> sexy kids in your movie? And so it's like, no, this isn't a sexy kid movie, this is like a, you know, adults, sexy adults. <laughs> and then, no, nobody gets it. Uh, Wait, sexy adults? <laughs> I don't know. Hold on, let's talk. Is this really going to work? Yeah. So How many movies so are, a year are you writing? Because I feel like well, you've so, always, you have more movies that you haven't, you've written, but you want to make what you haven't made yet? Yes, yes, definitely. And do you know what your next one, you what your next one should be? Will be? Want, yeah. be, want to be? Yeah, I'm kind of one of those people where I believe in nothing, and so I have to have like six irons in the fire at any given point, because most things... You're an iron in the fire guy. Have to be. He's an iron guy. He's an iron guy. He's an iron guy. Iron guy. Iron guy. Irons in the fire. I mostly Ooh. just like to have one cold piece of coal. <laughs> Just like okay. an old baguette in the fire. Yeah, and not even in the fire. I want to be staring on somebody's front lawn, looking at their living room at their fire, ah. <laughs> holding my cold piece of coal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's a cool approach. Yeah, it does, I don't get a lot done. Sometimes yeah. I throw my piece of coal through their window. Yeah. And put down your fire! <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous to have a fire like that in this neighborhood. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think just like getting, you know, trying to get things going where you need other people's support, money, what have you. Like, that is such a long process. Are you going to have to sell the next one? Yeah. Are you going to have to fucking... Yeah, I mean, but it's also like we've had projects where they're like finance, ready to go, casting, and then mm. there's some change at the company and they're like, we're getting rid of these things. Yeah. We're going to bring in new blood. And so then it's, you know, so you're at the mercy of uh, corporate fuckery mm -hmm. and i'm i'm always getting fucked over by well you've always been in a, a very anti dis disestablishmentarianism mm -hmm. yeah i just wanted to say that. yeah you've <laughs> never done things the regular way no that's you've boring. you've you've been smart enough easy. to see the landscape i like to use that word too mm -hmm. but yeah. you see the landscape and you you you, you formulate formulate a plan and where you're going to attack 
and then you go for it hard. I feel like this is what every fan of Elon Musk like says. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like he really like formulated a plan. You see the top you see down. It. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> is, is that your Elon? Musk? Well, let's see some I Elon. See it, I see we, well, we wanted to see what we were going to do. <laughs> oh Jesus! Going into space. It was this what we got. <laughs> <laughs> what about Mars? Uh, we're, we're, we're actually going to Mars. <laughs> Why is that not on the SNL uh, reel? I know, Come right? on, bro. Wait. Uh, uh, with, your wait. Ja- with your Jack Black. Can you tell me something you've learned of how, you, how, how you've learned to ask for money? Like, ha- have you found anything that works? Of, no. Of doing the, uh, please, sir. Like, <laughs> what's your technique? I just, fun- I just threaten to do it. I'm like, if you're not going to do this, I'm going to do it. And you then they're like, then, oh, yeah, I don't want him to do it. Exactly. With his own thing. It has to feel like if, you know, there has to feel like the train is moving. Yeah. Because if you're like, please help Nobody me. wants to Nobody like, wants you know when it wants to get behind a boulder that's not moving. Yeah. Especially something that like hasn't been made for a few years. Like if you have a sure. project that you keep working yeah. on, at some point you have to just put it away and go with something new because everyone's like, this is like a fucking... Do you have any dead. one of those that you've had to like shelve? Well, we have some things that have, like, we have, we wrote a Tinder movie. We wrote a movie that's about Tinder. And if it's not, it was supposed to be made this year, but it kind of fell apart. But the, uh... It, a, a rom-com? It, yeah, it's a rom It's like an R-rated, crazy, stupid love with Tinder is kind of the concept. But that is going to become defunct if yeah. we start making it, like, next year, the year after. Because, like, Someone's gonna it's going to become the MySpace, you know? Mm-hmm. And so it's kind of, you know, you have to be... So there's some things if it's uh, timely, you have to hit it, right? Yeah, or you just keep them, and then 20 years goes by, and then they're retro. They're like Stranger Things, you know? It's cool. It's like got its own flavor. I'm saving my MySpace movie. Yeah, (laughs) save it. You get 10 years. My my Zanga one's coming out. (laughs) (laughs) I'm starring both the Paul brothers, and we're shooting it in Houston. (laughs) So they don't have to leave. (laughs) Oh. so in between takes, they're fishing out fans out of the river. They're very wet in the whole film. And they're very sexy kids. Oh my gosh! That's really fun. That's why the studio f- gave it money. Mm. Do you do you get to like do anything fun? Hmm? Do you have hobbies? Do I have things? Like I feel like you work too much. Thank you. No, it's not a compliment. <laughs> no, you mean I have to take some time. You look the... tired. Oh. <laughs> No, every time I see you, you're you're at the beach in Marina, or you're near the marina. Yes, I live near water. Yes. Yeah. It's very. Nice. Are you still there? Mm, yes. Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. And is there still water? There's uh, so far. I haven't noticed it rise or anything. It's like a good level. It's a safe level, and we're renters, so if shit goes down, we can fucking bail easy. Do you have a date for your wedding? No, not yet. We decided we were like, should we get married this summer? Should we make a movie? And we're like, movie, movie first. Mm-hmm. Because we've been together for uh, literally 10 years. I know. Ever since I've known you. <laughs> yeah. It's so like, it was, Jesus. So it's like, what's another year? When you were what, 16? No, we started, I was 18. And she was just about to turn 18. True love. True love. Sexy it's young disgusting. Kid. Sounds like a sexy young kid there. I started as a sexy young kid. <laughs> Ultimately, um, you just want to be making movies till you die, till you pass away. I think so. I think. Is there anything you want to try? Like, do you want? Would you ever make a TV show? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're working on some of that kind of stuff. But it's that process is, you know, it's you know, it's all political. It's all like you need the right team, the right idea that hasn't been done, and that's the other. You thing should get on that. Netflix. Oh well, Internet Famous is. Does that count? You get a show on Netflix. A show? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's like when people come to you like, why are you making yeah. art thing? Yeah, you should, go, you, go, you should be on YouTube. <laughs> it's funny how, because we, we started making YouTube videos like out of spite of the traditional mm-hmm. world. And here you are, uh, because of YouTube, making traditional stuff. Yeah. But, in a, but I shouldn't say traditional, because it's like traditional in the sense that it's a movie, it's a film, yes. but it's not, it has people that are uh, they're like uh, traditional actors but also it, people that are from the internet but it's also good yeah. actors yeah have you ever had a terrible actor in a movie and then you had to fire him because he, he had so many followers but you were like this isn't working no not because it, usually it's like someone with like one line like that they'll get that those are the lines i get <laughs> when people ask me to do stuff <laughs> They don't want to give me too much because I will screw them up. No, you're a great actor. Please. Yeah, I, we work no, together please. so much. <laughs> <laughs> please tell them. No, I, like, I remember we, uh, we, did, we shot so many videos back in the days. We, shot, Dizze. A lot, we shot a lot of videos. Yeah, I've seen you in every, uh, in every form. Postmaker Studios, you got a little bit of geish? 
Gay? I don't know. Cast some geish. Geish. What'd you do? Did <laughs> you buy geish, anything nice? On the geish level. Did you get some geish and buy a nice thing with your geish? No, not really. I guess it just gave me the ability to like make this movie, you know. So this and, is like, the this movie. Kind of this stuff. is where you spent some of the geish. Yeah, I'm pretty conservative fiscally with my own money, not yeah. in politics or anything else. But like, yeah. I'm not like a oh, I got money, I gotta go buy a car, or a boat, or something. I, I bought a car. But did you? <laughs> but you could buy. Did you invest all in, the cars? Did you invest in the market? No. No, you can't. Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't, uh, I do some investing, but I'm, you know, I'm not, I, you know, I don't believe in gambling. Do you have any Bitcoin? I have a, no, I don't. <laughs> Steve is all about fucking ether, by the way. What do you, you know? You should get him on the show. Because Peter has, I, I know, I, I wanted to bring Steve on with you, but I want, Steve is his own guest yeah, and he deserves he's, he's his own show. You, he needs the full hour. The last time I saw Steve was at Jack's film's birthday and he had a polo, <laughs> but he had been drinking a little and the collar somehow got popped up. Oh no. <laughs> And he was just talking to me about online investing. <laughs> like, dude, you gotta get it. You gotta throw it. Yeah, yeah. Steve's amazing. No, and he's doing very well. So like, and fuck Steve me. is he got married? Yes, yes. To Nikki Lima. Nikki Lima is also a great them. actress, comedian. Yeah, I was the one who introduced them. Yeah, through because you were all totally sketch members. Yes, exactly. So out of our sketch group, they uh, you know. Michael, am I, am I a totally yeah. sketch member? No, no. You're a guest star. You're a guest star. Yeah, Bath yeah. Boy. Yeah. What are you yeah. talking? You're Bath Boy. Yeah, you have your own troop. I, I know I'm I think because you have your own troop. Yeah. It was like you know, it's like crossover. We did a little crossover. It was, it was like when the Harlem Globetrotters came to Gilgan's Island or whatever. <laughs> if you recall that <laughs> show that we grew up that with. Thank you for that up for me. Um, <laughs> I couldn't figure it out on my own. Oh. Well, you're in. What about the chat? Ah, oh, the chat. They're you know they're making a lot of physical observations like uh, oh no, Michael. Michael and I's shirts are similar. Peter's yeah. and Michael's hairs are similar. You and John are wearing it's fucking dumb it. hats. I don't know. Dude. It's not because my hair's messed up. Because the lady who cuts my hair, she had a baby, and but, now my yeah. hair is super long. Yeah, but for the most part, they like these more because it's like more you know there's conversation. We like the some laid back vibe. It's chill. You know what the best yeah. part of being in here is is that we go right into Rocket League right after the show. Do you play Rocket League? I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Did I say something wrong? Say oh, shut start, up. start, stop Cassin's the stream. Cassin's kids have been missing for a month, but he's I will time get to, to play it. a lot of Rocket League. What is Rocket League? Is it uh, e-gaming? I will have you guys know that we had Marky Duty here this week, professional Rocket League player for Flipside Tactics, and he came and stayed here, and he... <laughs> so and, dope! And he gave us a jersey. He's one of my favorite players. Yeah. It's an esport. He's an esport athlete. Yes. What uh, sport? It's, is it's he like playing? soccer. Rocket League. It's soccer, soccer but with cars. Oh, soccer but John, with cars. John, I want John to explain it. Soccer with cars. No. <laughs> does, the car, does the car hit the ball? Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah, yeah. And this huh? is on the internet. It's all it's all online. <laughs> so you go on your computer remember and you watch the, other people play. Yeah. Remember the cable game? guy when Jim Carrey said you can play with a friend in Vietnam? Yes. Mortal Kombat <laughs> with a friend in Vietnam? <laughs> That's what we're doing. My favorite part of that is at the end when the guy's watching TV and the satellite goes out and he picks up a book. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's, yeah. Kind of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Oh, yeah, that was Kyle. He's like, oh, of course, literature. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's not a subtle metaphor. It's great. No, and I have. It's it's only a matter of time before books are referred to as analog audio audio books. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. So you're. Uh, so do you play? No, oh, do we play? We play on Twitch. We're streamers. Oh shit. We stream one night a week, maybe more, mm -hmm. and we go hard in the paint. Well, you. There's actually no paint. There's a field. Do you still Counter Strike? I remember you were a big Counter Striker. Mm -mm. No. Not anymore. Not anymore. No. No. Did, did that stop? Um, I don't know. I really, I'm like, this is me. I'm like an anthropologist. Like, well, here's how. My first day, I don't know. What Peter doesn't happened. like. Peter doesn't like video games because he 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 likes to go look at trees. I and, love video games. No, he does not I like video games. Game. But I know I don't have time because I need to find a job. So I'm saving all the video. This games. This is your job. I'm saving all the video games for when I'm 80, and I'm gonna do heroin when I'm 80, and you play all be. the video games when I'm a sad. You're gonna be a very <laughs> cool 80 year old. I have it all planned out. Yeah. I'm gonna be very entertained. Are there kids? and grandkids involved in all this or no? They can come by. Rip, I'll rip. do the heroin in private when they're around. That's good. I won't do it in front of them. Rip the jack. Pop, 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 go tired. Because yeah. they yeah. won't be able to talk. No. And that'll be a well, uh, 
<laughs> That'll be an eloquent young kid yeah. in the future. <laughs> well, they'll speak like Cloud Atlas. Like when, uh, <gasps> yeah, that is the true, true. Probably That's a true, true. Probably tired now, but we can leave him alone, though we can play the game videos now. Uh, I wish more people saw that movie because that's the funniest shit I ever. Tra- I tried they watching that it. Movie so they it's can so make that long. Language, right? uh, I have I have feelings about esports, and I feel like with all these concussions and things like that, football and like these sports that are real, it's gonna go digital. Everything's gonna go digital, mm-hmm. and you're gonna have kids like Marky Duda. These are gonna be the real athletes. But it's and, not as fun to watch when they're oh, real. I beg to differ. <laughs> But you're playing. You want to watch as someone get hurt? as someone who just watches you play. I can yeah. tell you, it's not as fun. It's not fun. Just me, like <laughs> like you're playing, so you're having fun. But as someone who watches, I'd rather watch football and see people actually like risk like hurting themselves. Is that what you like about football? The risk. Like, the risk. The risk. And NASCAR, it's like the risk. That makes sense. But you don't watch slam NASCAR. Ball. You don't watch Slam Ball. I watch Slam Ball. <laughs> you do not watch Slam Ball. No, you don't. Are you trying to convince people you're a Slam There's Ball fan? I can think of that I'm not watching Slam Ball, at least like pulling out of my pocket, like checking the Slam Ball stats of the recent Slam Ball game. That's a Rocket League car. Oh, so they made actual things out of the computer things. They made little toys. That's great. And I bought the whole box. People in the chat think Kasim hired people to kidnap his kids so he could play more Rocket League. Very That plausible. is not... That is very That's plausible. very insensitive, but Guys, also kind of plausible. my kids are missing. I am sorry about your kids. And yes, I've had a little... Thank you. I've had some more time to myself because my wife is at her sister's because we're going through a, the rough patch because of the kids being missing and I'm not doing everything I can to be looking for them, but... Is it technically our fault the kids got <laughs> Yes! How many That's Rocket League was. games have you played since they went missing? I mean, it's got to be... In the hundreds. High hundreds, maybe early 1,000s. <laughs> High hundreds, hundreds, early 1,000s. That's beautiful, man. Um, Hopefully did you buy a home? Up. No, I rent. Why? No, that's not fiscally conservative. <laughs> that's not being frugal. Well, LA is a fucking... You, you know, gotta get in before it's... Before it's even more fucked? You can't. Yeah. Do you know how hard it is to own a home in Southern California? It's very difficult. But it's also, we we are addicted to the ocean. I know, but and you... you sh- can't buy on the ocean unless you're fucking bawling. And it we're is not addictive, bawling, isn't you know? it? We're okay, we're fine, but we're not, we're not like, we own a home on the water, people. I came inland more because, and I convinced myself, I'm like, it's not as cool and, and the weather isn't as nice, but if there's a tsunami. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, if you go east of Lincoln, <laughs> literally a full six minute east drive. Of, <laughs> east of Lincoln, get, tell, you, tell them I'm right. East of Lincoln, you might as well be in Northridge, you might as well be in Tallahassee, Florida. It doesn't matter. You know what's great is that this is so relatable. This is regional comedy. Yeah, if anyone watches Flaked, they'll really, really. Do it. <laughs> Flaked with Will Arnett, great West Side comedy in that in that show. Look, oh. if you're on, if you're west of Lincoln, which you are, mm-hmm. there's that's one side of the world, and then everything east of Lincoln is the rest of the world. I decided that I would save some dough, mm-hmm. protect myself against tsunamis. Mm-hmm. And then live next door to Mexicans yeah. by coming here. No, it makes sense. You can get a good, really good taco anywhere in like walking distance. I just walk into my next door neighbor's house. It's perfect. The uh, the thing though is like the temperature here. Like well, I don't know what the, the actual temperature in Culver City is, but like it's it's there, five five to eight degrees hotter than where you're at. Yeah, because we're low. We're like low eighties, high seventies right now, and everywhere else is over ninety, hundred. Yeah. And so yeah. it's like, oh, from San Diego, it's like, oh, nice. Water, breeze, I feel mm-hmm. comfortable. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I feel like I'm on vacation mm-hmm. every day, which like gives me more. I think I'm going to live like a day longer because of that. <laughs> you get an extra 24. I'm going to get an extra 24. So the renting, I think, is worth it for that. I think, it's, I think it's worth it. Yeah. We're going to play Rocket League today after this, and I'm going to show you what it is. Yeah. I'm going to try and give you a new addiction so you can stop making all these movies. You want to be less productive. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay, cool. Because you're only 21. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. John, any closing statements? Um, John's going to be a dad. I'm so proud of him. You Are you? He quit smoking. John quit smoking. Have we mentioned? It's been over a month. We didn't want to spoil the news. It's going to be hard, but uh, the gum actually really helps. How much did the hypnotist help with you quitting? Do you I would think? say, like, at least he uh, planted a seed. <laughs> you know? I'm sure he planted something. Did you go full under? Mm-hmm. It felt like it. 
Wow. You felt like you weren't in control? Was that, is that a yes? He was telling me to do things and I was just doing it. But did you want What happened in that room? He came out, he was so weird. I just was like sleepy. No, you weren't just sleepy. Yeah. You look like you joined the cult. Who has like, who has a bunch of different, like they had an aquarium in their kitchen and like there was a bunch of different fishes and I was just staring at it. (laughs) That's true. They did have, they did have two aquariums in their kitchen. Oh. Yeah. That's well, congrats. Thanks, man. Really uh, it yeah. took a lot. It took a lot of courage, and I'm glad <laughs> that you're uh, gonna be a, a smokeless father. Yeah, <laughs> me too. People yeah. are saying Christopher Bird uh, says John is an okay dad. <laughs> he went from bad because John was a bad dad. Absolutely, he is no. an alright dad. But uh, you got I a long the, way to go. The Papa John segments. Yeah, he's been doing Lamas. No, just uh, educational classes. What do they teach you in those classes? Uh, they basically taught us what the, the female body does, what the different chemicals it relays Whoa. to. Uh, so there's dilation and effacement. Dilation refers to the size of the hole. Effacement is like the, the hole, the thickness surrounding uh, the thickness around the area of the mm-hmm. hole. Mm-hmm. And you need low effacement and uh, maximum dilation for the baby to come out. Right. Mm-hmm. Things like this. And then also, did they tell you that your, the vagina and butthole will tear into one hole? <laughs> yes, they did tell us that, and but that, it's not a very common occurrence. Oh, what's the, what's the percentage of, okay. the yeah. percentage of getting it's, cut? It's half. Snip. It's half. First of all, when they snip, if they have to snip you, they do what it do you that mean snip? What do you mean snip? They cut it? Yeah. yeah. If they ever have to cut it, they, they cut it diagonally. What's that area called? The gooch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they cut the gooch? The gooch, the taint, the, the, taint, the yeah. bonch, whatever. Yeah. Are you going to have kids? One day. Yeah. You think you want it? Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, little Gallagher's running around. Well, I think it's important to create so they, they can die as well. <laughs> I think, well, it's weird because if you think about it, you have I don't kids, think you're, I don't think you're ready. Of, well, you're kind of a murderer because when you create a child, they will one day not be here. And so what you kind of effectively... So you brought up... Yeah, 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 I want someone else to die. Yeah, you you have, that's kind of what you're saying. But on their way uh, living, I want them to consume, pollute, and put, uh, leave a negative footprint. Yeah, that's partying to the ground, baby. <laughs> that's right. not a good way to look at now, it. Anything else? Alexander Haynes wants to know if they teach you how to make a girl orgasm in Lamaze class Ooh. and if you could if you could teach everyone else. Yes, please. Yeah. That's really weird. It's so a motion cool. like this. When if you want to find the G spot, this is just for you kids out there. You go in, you make the come here motion, and then if you want to work your thumb on the clitoris for yeah. outside stimulation, yeah. you can. Deep de- penetration while simultaneously uh, stimulating the clitoris. It's I am a tremendous finger banger. Really? <laughs> what? Tremendous. What are you, tremendous. What are, what I just wanted doing? to say finger banger. Finger banger. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, uh, well, what a terrible way to end the show. I don't yeah. get to draw you? What the hell? What the hell's going on? I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm out of canvas. Yeah, there's just a lot of people uh, talking about giving birth and how they like measure dilation by finger size. John actually told us did, that. Weren't you doing socks? Didn't they show you with socks? Yeah, they uh, they also well they don't show pictures. They don't they don't so they have to demonstrate everything or they draw it out. Mm-hmm. They don't so, show you a picture of a baby coming out. Exactly. So they don't show mm-hmm. like to show us the different dilation sizes and why it's important for it to be at max dilation. Mm-hmm. They use a sock and they had different uh, openings and they would, he would shove the baby's baby doll head through the sock. <laughs> like, this is zero centimeters dilated. It's not, it's not happening, right? We need like, max yeah, head room. Yeah. The miracle of birth. The miracle of birth. So what's, what do you need? How many centimeters? You, it needs to be 10 centimeters dilated. It's roughly this, uh, the distance between your two fingers. So when they measure, when the doctor comes and measures and see if you're dilated enough, they'll do this thing. And would you have a photographer in there? Would you be willing? Because that's some, you, some thing. Some, some, some people do. Some people do. Some, 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 some. No. What about a Castle G? Uh, you know, special edition? Maybe I come in there. Yeah. I mean, if out of all your friends, if you had uh, one friend that was going to come ooh, and ooh, take a look at ooh, your wife's ooh, please. crotch. Ooh, ooh. Casey Neistat with a drone <laughs> right above. <laughs> ooh. Who yeah, will it be? Who will it be? We'll think about it. We'll think Who will it be? We'll vote in the it. comment section below if you want me. Uh, vote number one if you want me to look at John's wife's vagina during childbirth. Vote number two if you want Peter to come look at John's wife's vagina during childbirth. Did I mention how handsome you are, John? You just uh, did I mention oh, John? Right. Remember how much I've done for you? <laughs> <laughs> remember how much I've done for you, John? Yeah, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. Great. Vote one.
All right. Hey, I want to thank Squarespace for today. I want to thank Michael Gallagher. For thank you for having me. You can find Michael Gallagher at loganpaul.com. Loganpauljakepaul.com. Your Instagram is at totally sketch. I'm at totally sketch on all the things. Twitter at totally sketch. I put it in the description. He put it in. <laughs> he put it in the description. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And we'll be yeah. looking for fun, funny story, funny story come, yes. coming out sometime early Probably next year, early next year, or early quarter t uh, eighteen. Yeah, we're gonna send it to festivals, and you know, maybe we'll be at one of those things. Oh, nice. Okay. See? And if you need somebody to box a couple lines for you in a movie, I would love to be that I would guy. Love that. All right. Or John. Hey, John's probably better. I think I've worked with all four of you as actors. Yeah, probably. I'm a great cast from G stand in <laughs> and stunt double. Peter's Peter's the actor. <laughs> um, I'm that? more of like the handsome lead. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, the handsome, sexy, you know, every sex man. symbol, sex icon. But, but remember, we did this Valentine's Day thing, and like you couldn't be for like a certain time, so we used him out of focus <laughs> <laughs> yeah. as your double. Yeah, I was too I young to have that. it crush my soul at the time. You were into it. You were, you were yeah, like, no, I was like, yeah, I get to help my big bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> Tom Hanks's brother, he loves doing Woody for the animated yeah. toy And he was in Forrest Gump. He was the yeah. runner in Forrest Gump. <laughs> well, this has been great. I'm Thank sorry we know. didn't get to paint you, but um, to be honest, I didn't want you to do that anyways. I'll mail you one. <laughs> Next week you can see it. You can show the... Because yeah. like, they're going to wonder. They're going to be like, what was my interpretation? And what, what format? Because I work in many formats. I'm an artist with many medias. Oh, All right. yes. Maybe we'll give you more than just marker. Some clay. Ooh, yeah. Maybe we'll make it a sculpture. Some marble. If you can get me into a, you know, a, a spin. A jar, a jar of. If you can get me a lazy Susan that spins. Yeah. I'm, I'm I will, behind you I like will, yeah. ghost. Please. It'd be my pleasure. We'll be really that. someone wasn't going to make a ghost right <laughs> No, I had to. It's easy. It was right there. And you're spinning it. Mm -hmm. All right. Get the groove. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in uh, to episode 23, The Office Show. And uh, we'll see you guys back in the backyard for episode 24. And maybe we'll have an update where my kids are. And it's not a big deal. I'm playing Rocket League. So what? And you can come play Rocket League with me at twitch.com, twitch.tv slash G. And we're going to put Ow! Ow! Peter! It's a little raw. So thanks, for, thanks for tuning in. All right. Is that not how the scene it's from Ghost going? went? Gosh. Still going. We're still okay. on. Okay? Well, yeah, we're still live. I get it. Let's do five more minutes. Come on. At Peter Gilroy. Uh, Instagram and Twitter. At John Nana. Uthmar Best Omar Ever on Twitter. Uthmar on Instagram. Sh shout out to the Dab Squad and uh, the Lizard King. Lizard King? The Lizard, Lizard King, King is Ben Beloroso. Congrats, oh. Ben Beloroso. Yeah.